Bills fans were very happy when Brandon Bean extended Jordan Poyer's contract, but that didn't mean he was done at the safety position. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Believer's Talk. My name is Joe and welcome to another free agency edition of Believer's Talk where we take a look at all of the Buffalo Bills free agent signings and we do a little player profile breakdown, right? We break down the player and ask ourselves, was this a good signing for the Buffalo Bills and what does it mean as far as the future of the Buffalo Bills in free agency this year? and heading into the NFL Draft. Again, guys, thank you for joining me on this edition of Believer's Talk. My name is Joe. If you're new to the channel, guys, I, I would love for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that subscribe button. After you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. YouTube will notify you when we put out new content. Guys, we are doing a player profile on every single Buffalo Bills free agent player. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you haven't checked out my previous videos, make sure after this video, you go back and check some of them out as well. Obviously, Buffalo has been very active in free agency, and we have covered it all right here on Believer's Talk. So in this edition, we are going to talk about the most recent free agent signing by the Buffalo Bills, and that is Safety Dean Marlowe. So as you're listening to this video, maybe after you're done in the comment section, let me know what you think about the Buffalo Bills re-signing Dean Marlowe. Now we're going to get into his stats from last season. We're going to get into some of the things that Dean Marlowe brings to this team. But first, let's talk about Dean Marlowe's measurements. Dean Marlowe is a safety, 6'1", 208 pounds. He will be 28 years old at the start of the 2020 NFL season. He went to James Madison University, and he was an undrafted free agent in 2015. In 2015, after the draft was over, the Carolina Panthers picked up Dean Marlowe, and he actually made the, the Carolina Panthers 53-man roster in 2015, also making the 53-man roster in 2016. Now, he did not make a single start. In fact, he did not play a single game on defense for the Carolina Panthers. However, he did play five games for the Panthers, all on special teams. And we're going to talk about Dean Marlowe's special teams contributions as well as his defensive contributions. And that's kind of one of the good things about signing a guy like Dean Marlowe here in free agency is not only is he going to help you with the defense, he's going to give you that conti continuity on special teams. We've seen the Buffalo Bills sign certain players this year that are really going to help the special teams unit thrive. So now what you need to do is re-sign some players that, that are familiar with the Buffalo Bills system, familiar with the scheme, and we will talk a little bit more about that just in a minute. So again, Dean Marlowe spends 2015 and 2016 with the Carolina Panthers. In August of 2017, the Carolina Panthers decide to cut Dean Marlowe after an injury-plagued 2016 season. We had a few groin, uh, groin injury that he was nursing and things like that. So they cut him in August of 2017. Actually, he does not find a football team until December of 2017, and that's when the Buffalo Bills signed Dean Marlowe in December 2017. They signed Dean Marlowe to the Buffalo Bills practice squad. Remember 2017? The first time the Bills made the playoffs in 18 seasons. So he's there on the practice squad, doesn't see any active time, but he's with the Buffalo Bills. Then in 2018, Dean Marlowe gets promoted to the active roster a few times in 2018. And then he spends 2019 with the Buffalo Bills as well. And in 2019, he sees the most action on an NFL football field. In 2019, Dean Marlowe played in nine games, had two starts, one pass deflection, and 11 tackles. Those two starts were after Trevon, uh, I'm sorry, Teron Johnson got injured. Him and Siren Neal were splitting some time back there as safety. Also using that big nickel package, Leslie Frazier in, liked to use Dean Marlowe in that big nickel package. And we know how much Leslie Frazier, Coach McDermott, loved that big nickel package. We know how important the safety position is to that package and so that's one of the main reasons why I think picking up Dean Marlowe was a really good signing to re-sign a guy who again has that continuity knows the scheme and also knows what the Buffalo Bills expect out of him now I'm not saying that this does not mean Dean Marlowe will not will still be fighting for a 53-man roster spot I think he will be I think the fight will be on for Dean Marlowe to get one of those 53-man roster spots but he has an edge up on whoever else might come in 
at the safety position because again he's been with the buffalo bills he's been with coach frazier he's been with coach mcdermott he knows what they expect not just out of him by the safety position as a whole and plus when you add the special teams capabilities of a dean marlowe really helps out his chances i think to make the 53 man roster in his career dean marlowe has played in 16 games Three of those have been starts, two pass deflections, and 16 tackles. So like I said, 2019 was really his, his you know, most improved or biggest breakout year so far in his early NFL career. In 2019, he actually played in 10% of the defensive snaps for the Buffalo Bills. Not that high, but you do have to remember who our safeties are, right? Again, Ty Teron Johnson went out. That's when Dean Marlowe saw a lot of his time. However, you also have to consider the special teams play. And in 2019, Dean Marlowe played in 22% of the special team snaps so he does have a familiarity at the special teams position not afraid to go in there and play special teams and he can be effective so that is very important when you talk about re-signing Dean Marlowe so on March 20th of this year Dean Marlowe signed a one-year contract with the Buffalo Bills at this time we are not sure about the contract details again it's a one-year deal when you look at his 2017 deal, they signed with the Buffalo Bills. It was a two-year deal. I believe it was worth $1.2 million total. However, none of that was guaranteed. I'm expecting something around the same the same uh, guidelines this year, right? Maybe a million-dollar contract, right? But none of it's going to be guaranteed. He has to make that 53-man roster in order to see any of that money. This gives the Buffalo Bills some flexibility with what they want to do with Dean Marlowe. Is he going to be good enough to make that 53-man roster? Because this simply adds depth to the wide or to the safety position. And I think the Buffalo Bills are doing doing a really smart thing here. The Buffalo Bills are signing the players they need to sign, so that way, come draft day, which come day two now, because remember we don't have a uh, day one draft pick, our first round draft pick tr traded for Stefan Diggs. But come day two, you look at this roster and you say, well, there's really no holes. So what does that mean? That means that that Brandon Bean and his coaching staff can really go after the best player available remember the buffalo bills still have seven draft picks so there's still some movement that can be made but the buffalo bills are going to go after the best player available now what if that best player is safety well then someone like dean marlowe has to look out for his job right someone like dean marlowe needs to step up his game a little bit and that's why we shouldn't guarantee him too much money if any at all because Maybe we see another safety and free agency we want to go after who's going to sign pretty cheaply and come to Buffalo. That's a possibility too. But also you take a look at the free or the draft and you say, what if the best player available when the Bills draft in the second round is a safety? Well, there's no reason why the Buffalo Bills can't go after a safety here. And then, like I said, that really puts Dean Marlowe's spot in jeopardy. But Dean Marlowe, again, knows the defensive system. He knows what Coach McDermott and Coach Leslie Frazier expect out of him. So he does have that leg up. However, that does not mean he's guaranteed to make that 53-man roster. And that's why I don't want to see too much dead cap money being offered to, too much guaranteed money being offered to Dean Marlowe. Again, let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you like this signing? Again, it's really a depth signing, if anything, and some more depth on special teams as well. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Again, guys, hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell as we continue to keep you up to date on all Buffalo Bills content. Again, Buffalo Bills and Buffalo Sports. So you want to make sure, again, you hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for joining me on this edition of Believer's Talk. And again, going over the Dean Marlowe pick. Dean Marlowe signs a one-year deal with the Buffalo Bills. No longer a free agent. Come back to Bills Mafia. Again, thank you for joining me. I look forward to talking to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.